Hey folks, uh, Coach Jeff from Team PRS Fit, and today is Training Tip Tuesday. You may notice that I have a shoe in my hand. Well, today's not a shoe commercial, but today I'm going to talk about something that I think is, is probably one of the most important and most overlooked things when we're out looking at running shoes, and that's shoe fit. You know, what are some of the basics of shoe fit? You know, when you go out to get a shoe, when you try that shoe on, you should make sure that when you settle your heel, heel back all the way in the shoe, that you have a very solid lock on your heel. There shouldn't be any lateral movement. Your heel should not be able to move back and forth in the back of that shoe, and it should not be able to move up and down. A very stable heel is one of the first things that you look for when you put on the running shoe. Next thing that you want to look for, does the arch of the shoe run along the arch of your foot. Whether you have flat feet or not, you still should have a good feel of that arch area running across the base of your foot so that you know that the foot lengthwise in the arch is right for you. Um, next thing that you want to look at, how do my toes splay out in the front of the shoe? Can my toes splay out naturally? Look folks, if you stand on your carpet and you put a little bit of weight down on the forefoot of your feet, you will see that your toes do this naturally. That's what they want to do. That's where balance comes from. You get a more even shock distribution when your toes are allowed to splay out naturally. And you get a much more relaxed ankle that allows your lower leg to settle more naturally into your gait. When your toes are compressed together like this, there is a much higher chance for compression fractures, um, stress, fr stress fractures, neuromas. Um, there's just a wealth of things that can go wrong when your toes are, are scrunched together like this. I mean, even if you sit on your couch, it's very difficult to scrunch your toes together like that. Why would you want them scrunched like that in the front of your running shoe? Very, very uncomfortable. It causes imbalances. Um, it, it causes a very centered area of compression and shock when your foot hits the ground. So make sure you get a shoe that allows your toes to do this in the front. You're allowed to move your foot in the front. That's the natural movement for your toes. That's where you want them when you hit the ground. And now lastly, one of, one of the things that are overlooked by so many people, shoes don't cause black toes. Improperly fit shoes cause black toenails. So you should really look for a thumb width you know, across the front of that shoe to your big toe or your longest toe. Some people have a longer second digit. So you want to make sure that there's a thumb width across the toe. Why? When we run, our feet naturally swell, especially on longer runs. And if your feet are swelling, they're getting bigger in the shoe and getting closer to the front. The other issue is when you run downhill, your foot will slide at times, depending on the, on the grade of the hill, and bang against the front of that shoe if it's too short. So make sure you have a good solid thumb width across the front of that shoe. Last little tip, lacing pattern. When you lace your shoe, as you can see in this shoe, both sides, very nice and straight when they're laced, nice steady width right across the middle of the, of the upper foot. If I pull it too tight, you get a scrunched up. That means the shoe's a little bit too wide for you. If the shoe lacing pattern is spread apart, that means that the shoe's too narrow for you. And again, you don't want to tighten your laces too tightly across the top part of the foot. This can shut off circulation, cause numbness in the foot, and cause additional foot pain. So there you have it. Just a couple of basics um, about how a shoe should fit. When you get to your shoe store, you know, talk to the guys at the store. So many shoe stores have so many great people who can help you out. Ensure that you get the proper fit. Don't be afraid to ask these questions. Does my heel lock in? Does my arch line up? Can my toes splay out? You know, work on that with your local expert in the shoe store. Your running experience will be way better. Your feet will feel better for it. Your entire body will feel better for it. As always, be healthy, train smart, have fun. This is a coach, and I'll see you next Tuesday.